Okay, so we are here at PCU Innovation Centre as part of the Hardware Hackathon event uh, covered by Inspired Startups. And we're just part we're talking to the teams participating over the weekend. Team number eight is called Honeycomb. Uh, and I'd like to introduce Bernie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Could you give us a brief description on the idea um, behind Honeycomb? Uh, what brought this idea about and how it has evolved over the weekend since the Friday pitch? Um, mainly what we came here with is uh, a problem that we had. Uh, usually it's, uh, it's focus and, we're, and communicating with other people. So I'm kind of um, really into productivity and how I can work better and work better with others. So initially what was pitched was only a way, basically like a digital uh, Pareto uh, Pomodoro uh, timer. Are you familiar with Pomodoro technique? No. So basically, it's a way to uh, flow with concentration. Okay. So when you're doing a task, you limit it to a period of time. Okay. But I found that there's a flaw in that how do other people know that you're in the beginning of your flow or of productivity or at the end of it? Uh, another thing is that I'm an entrepreneur and I work a lot of times in um, open office spaces or uh, co-working spaces. And right now, the universal symbol of I'm busy is headphones. Okay. So the problem is that you have headphones all the time. So we wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. And what industry sectors is this product going, going to um, go for? Uh, what market are you aiming for? I see that this is relevant to individuals, but I see as a business that would, this would be more relevant to enterprise in the beginning okay. for big companies. And has, your, has, your, has the project like, um, has, has it changed from Friday until now? Yeah. To many, um, it's, it's evolved really evolved, yeah. beautifully because the main thing is that the first thing that we wanted to track is, is how you yourself are working and how do you communicate that in an open space. Okay. But the idea that we came up with is taking a beautiful shape, something sure. that represents the status of what you're doing, but the shape represents also the collaboration of like a honeycomb, a beehive. The main thing is that the individual is really important, but at the end of the day, the result of the team is more important, Okay. right? So how do we do that? We take this device and whenever, let's say we're having a meeting right now, okay. you bring your honeycomb, we put them together, and it's a frictionless way to track when we met, why we met, and uh, just having another layer of, okay. of data that's accessible for people. And then you can, you can graph productivity and also interaction. So it's an enhancement to being focused and enhancement to uh, better collaboration. Okay, um, and this idea is obviously not new. You've thought about this for a while, um, but your reasons here for being in Ireland is mainly for the hardware hackathon, is it? Uh, you, you we came for Web Summit. For the Web Summit, yes. okay. Are you, is, this, uh, is this idea business yet ready for the, for the Web Summit? Uh, actually, uh, me and Leo, we came from Shanghai. Okay. Uh, we're in the beginning stages of, of basically working with hardware to bring new user experiences. Okay. So we're working on a startup that is, that is different. But when we came here to the hackathon, mm -hmm. we wanted to just plant a seed of a concept. The concept is that in an open office, is that a problem for productivity? Yes or no? Okay. So the only thing that was presented, what about presenting that with light? And that's it. Okay. What it's become has been pure collaboration of these two day days, so it's been pretty great. And you've made good progress over the last two days. I know your team looks pretty busy. I know they're, yeah. they're, they're getting ready for the prototype demonstration in half well, an hour. That, so um, is, can we have a quick view of the product or can one of the you, you can ask one uh, of your co Leo. take us through what we're looking at? Uh, sure, shall, shall I use that one? Because it has I think our most finished. Can you just pass the mic down? Sure. Can you? Is the you can hold it for now. Uh, I'll. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Leo. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm one of the engineers on this project. On auto engineers, Peter. Okay. So this is a our latest prototype, uh, a cardboard version. Uh, we have a uh, wood version uh, being made right now. There's a one being printed. Hopefully, we'll we'll get a chance to see that. Um, this is the prototype. Uh, I'll turn it on, and you can see it's red. Red means I'm busy. If okay. I turn it around, it turns green, sure. which means I'm free. 
So this is the basic individual mode of the device to, uh, to show to others that you're uh, either busy or free. So the busy mode, again, based on the Pomodoro principle in 25 minutes, slowly goes from uh, red through orange to yellow to white. And in the white mode, people know you're accessible, you're available, your focus has been uh, yeah. basically those 25 minutes. Then what uh, I think one of the new things that came out of this hackathon is the collaborative uh, mode of these devices. So as you click them together, they will actually change color and all of them become the same color, okay. which is notifying the meeting that is taking place. So this information, each device has a unique ID. This information can actually be stored, like who uh, met with whom, when uh, the whole context can be uh, registered. So I guess I can show that real quick, although it's not going to be as sexy as the final version, obviously. <laughs> uh, so I'll turn this one on. Again, starts in individual mode, right? This okay. one is red now. Yep. Uh, so let me see if I can point the color to the camera. I need you to bring one table and start setting up. We'll do that. So as I click them together, sure. they turn blue okay. to notify the, the meeting that is taking place. Then take them up, and then they're individual again. Okay. So that is uh, uh, the basic principle of uh, the you've device. You've made a lot of progress. And it looks like a very innovative solution to, to a problem that needs to be solved. And just what, is, what has your experience been of the Harder Hackathon weekend event in, in general? You're asking me, or you're asking Bernie? Yeah. Oh, me. All oh, right. Uh, so, uh, to me, hack hackathon. I love hackathons. Right? This is it's not, not the your first. first. It's not my no, first. Okay. No, I've, I've been doing a. I do one monthly, I suppose. One monthly. Okay. Yeah. Globally, though, because this is your first. In yeah, Ireland. mostly in Shanghai. Okay. Uh, okay. We met each other at the Shanghai uh, Makerspace, right. which uh, I'm also a staff member of. So we okay, organize great. these hackathons. Yeah. Um, and again, what's so great about a hackathon is you have limited resources, mm -hmm. uh, people you have most of the people you haven't met before, and you, you get a chance to actually bounce mm -hmm. ideas off of each yeah. other. You, like what we come up with now is totally not what we started with uh, sure, two days yeah. ago. So that, that's obviously one of the, the, the usual. Uh, uh, and have you had um, much help from the mentors here in, at the Dublin Hackathon? How, how did you find them? Um, oh, for sure. If it weren't for yeah. the mentors, I think we, we wouldn't <laughs> even have uh, a, a casing right now. Like, right. They helped okay. us come up with... Uh, good last-minute solutions because our 3D print wasn't going as expected. So, for example, cardboard, wood, all uh, input from the mentors. So that, that uh, mm -hmm. for sure. Then we had a great uh, pitch uh, coach. That, that was very useful. That will be useful even for the, the thing that we are starting in Shanghai, right? So okay. definitely. Uh, and this project is definitely going to continue on after this Dublin Hardware Hackathon. It's something you, you Well, I, I think on. that... The, uh, so the two of us are going to continue on the, the, yeah. the thing we're already doing in Shanghai, the thing that we were okay. doing before. Sure. When, we, when we go back, we continue that. Uh, this is, a, you could say, a very slimmed down uh, version based okay. on the idea that we had right. before. I think it's up to the team to decide what's, what's going on with, uh, with this. Mm -hmm. And who knows uh, what comes out of the, the, the pitch that we're doing, right? Yeah. So uh, we will, we'll see about that. And are you confident about your pitch this evening? Um, I've, I've I'm seen confident in uh, Bernie. Like okay. he, uh, he's, he's, uh, I think he does a good job uh, pitching. Okay, just one last question. Would you, would you recommend the Dublin Hardware Hackathon to, to other people that might think about attending compared to like, the other global hackathons that you already have attended? Is it similar, uh, or is it a little bit of a commute? Uh, <laughs> a commute, yeah, it's just too far. Yeah, so Bernie said the commute, right? Okay, uh, for us, uh, uh, I think it was very well organized. Uh, yep. All the resources that were available to us, like the the electronics, not only that, the the experts, the three D printing, the CNC machines, yeah, laser a lot cutter, of equipment. A, a lot of equipment. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, like uh, we were, uh, in in one way our own limiting factor, right? Because there was plenty of resources to, to do any, sh any shape we wanted. Like, we have uh, acrylic, printed, wood, yeah. so it just We're shows. We're used to, to very bare bone hackathons. It's like, okay. find stuff in the street and then you build something out of it. Okay. Great, great resources. That's, great. It was wonderful. It's good feedback. So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely try it. If you've never done a hackathon before, I okay. should say, if you've never done a hackathon before, <laughs> you definitely try it. I think you'll learn a lot. Yeah. Oh, well, brilliant. Um, team Honeycomb, good luck in your pitch this evening. Thanks Thank for you. talking Thanks. to us. Thanks.